and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Wyatt? Here. Stabell? Here. Funds? Present? Reister? Here. Engel? Here. Okay, I have a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, consent agenda, anything to pull? Uh, okay, I have a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, mayor's comments and commendations. No commendations, but welcome to everybody in attendance. Uh, committee reports and recommendations. Scott, Public Works. Uh, we met 7 o'clock on the 15th. <coughs> uh, we discussed some street repair on Main Street, uh, which we're going to get some uh, uh, further information on. Um, we had a bid lighting for the garbage collection. <coughs> And we are recommending to council uh, low bed of Blackhawk Waste. Um, we approved uh, putting a citizen back on to the budget billing. And then we had some discussion on that program. And we talked about um, some erosion that we're experiencing um, in the, on a manhole along Blackhawk Creek and discussing options as to how we would proceed with that. Um, and then we approved uh, some repair work <coughs> on some hydrants. And uh, adjourned at 7.57. Any questions for Scott? Is it Creek or Creek? Creek. Creek. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Yep. Yeah. Uh, citizens request oral presentations other than public hearing? No. Okay. Uh, open the public hearing regarding the <coughs> ordinance amending the Code of Ordinances of the City of Hudson, Iowa by amending provisions pertaining to all-terrain vehicles. And this is relative to putting the ordinance back into effect uh, to allow ATVs for uh, snow plowing purposes and uh, driving on some of the streets. It had been knocked off when we did the recodification and we missed it on there. Uh, any written comments? No. Uh, any comments from the public? Close the public hearing. Uh, open the public hearing to approve the request of Echo Development Group, Inc. for approval of the amended preliminary plat for Twin Oaks edition. Uh, any written? Uh, yeah. Well, I do. I have one from Jack Lunen that he called me today. Um, he, um, the comments are as follows. Um, there are large lots with driveways on Durant's Chero, and he inquired if there was going to be some sort of emergency access. Um, I told him that there was an emergency access on to Ranchero, uh, and on the revised plat, the emergency access is listed as Track B. Uh, Jack's <coughs> main concern is that it will become a main entrance for people into the development, so it'll have people coming in and out. Um, the city and the developers do need to do everything they can to make sure that it stays as an emergency access only. Um, he also stated that the amendment is a win-win-win for everyone and sees the development as a positive thing. Any other written ones? No. Uh, oral, uh, Leon, did you want to say yeah, anything? Let me speak very briefly. I understand we have a council member that may have to leave this <laughs> evening, and I want to get to voting because I understand a, uh, uh, an absent vote is a no. That's correct. And we don't want that to happen tonight. <laughs> this is a night those of us along Rancho have been waiting for for a long time. Um, we have a council member that has oftentimes said there is a win-win-win deal here if we look for it. Well, this is a win-win-win-win-win deal because the schools end up with a, a really nice development and a lot of different uh, additional kids for a school. Uh, it's a, a win for the city of Hudson. We get some customers for the utilities that we've invested heavily in in the north end of town. We get a tax base. It's a win for the developer. This is uh, going to be a really nice development. It's a win for the development. It'll improve the development, this amendment we're dealing with, and it's a win for the existing neighborhood. We are enthusiastically in favor of this thing. Um, for some reason, I've kind of maybe self-assumed or been appointed since I'm retired of being the community spokesman, but uh, 
we're in favor of this thing, beyond a doubt. So uh, with five wins on this thing, let's get a five to nothing vote tonight. That's enough said. Thank you. Um, Jeff or Judy, do either one of you want to speak? Well, I just wanted to say, well, I'm Jeff Sutton, uh, 4549 Ranchero Road. I just wanted to echo what uh, Leon's said and what he's, he's done uh, for our little community up there uh, and just uh, support this also. We uh, just appreciate the council looking into this further and um, just listening to us and Echo Development doing that as well. And so we just uh, ask you to approve that as well. Anyone else? Tony? I got prepared comments again. I'm sorry. I hope it's short. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's an administrator. You have to have prepared. Yeah. I have to have prepared. <laughs> have to be prepared. It's in our DNA. <laughs> Okay, so over the last year I've shared my thoughts on the need for residential development in our community, so Phil, there is no need to relitigate my position. The fact is, I am not alone in my support for these developments. Likewise, I would go so far as to suggest there is near universal broad-based support among Hudson residents. At a minimum, our citizenry understands the economic impact of growth and development. The benefits to our school district have been established and the broadening of our tax base is well known. However, support often deteriorates when the proposed development is set to occur in our own backyard. And I understand the objection from our neighbors to the north just as much as I understood the concerns of our neighbors near Springfield Avenue. Yet surprisingly enough, in both instances, these residents did express clear support for development. At the same time, they implored our city leaders and developers to listen to their concerns and allow them an opportunity to provide input into the process in an effort to make improvements that would benefit everyone. I have found this to be a very fascinating observation over the course of the last 12 to 18 months. Upon re further reflection, I don't believe anyone has stated they didn't want these developments. Quite the contrary, they wanted to make them better for those who will be their immediate neighbors, and for the entire community. Perhaps that is an anomaly. Instead of hearing, not in my backyard, I believe what I have heard is, let's make sure we do it right. And in the interim, proposals have been modified <coughs> and public hearings have been held. Engineers have engineered, and we have even discussed traffic patterns on Ranchero Road. We even had a brief discussion about how the school bus stop is going to impact residents of that neighborhood. Truth be told, the latest iteration probably makes school bus routes a little more complicated, but I'm confident that we will be able to figure this out, just as we would have figured out the last design. It appears to me that the comments that we have heard and acted on have been acted on by both our developer and tonight, hopefully, our city council. Are we on the precipice of resolution? I do hope so, because it appears to me that through collaboration and teamwork, a proposal is before you that most are happy to endorse. I am happy to offer my support of this amendment. Admittedly, the process has seemed to take a bit longer than I would prefer, and certainly it has been stressful for our neighbors and our city council but I take solace in the fact that all of the proceedings have been respectful. While there has been sharp disagreement with how best to proceed, <clears throat> I've been incredibly impressed with the conduct of everyone involved. It was through this discourse, the amendment, the amended plat proposal that has arrived at the table tonight has come to you. Is this perfect? Not at all. Is it without further modification? Probably not. Does it demonstrate a willingness to work together as neighbors and citizens of Hudson? Undoubtedly it does. I would like to applaud everyone who has taken time to engage on this issue. First to our neighbors on Ranchero Road for your thoughtful dialogue and willingness to work together for the good of the community. A tip of the hat also to our developers for your open-mindedness and ability to take the input from our residents and continually improve on your concept. And finally, to our city council for your bold vision 
and willingness to listen to the community you were elected to represent and making the hard decisions that will position us as the destination of choice when families are searching for a place to call home. Thank you all very much, and I urge a 5-0 vote as well. Thanks, Mark. Uh, any other comments? I close the public hearing. Uh, General Government, Hudson City Council maintains the right to waive the first and second readings of the ordinances presented and may pass the third and final reading of the same ordinance within the same council meeting. Item A, discussion action to approve resolution 2325, a resolution to approve the request of Equity Development Group for approval of the amended preliminary plat for Twin Oaks uh, edition. That includes uh, various waiver requests that are in your package, uh, as well as uh, deed dedications that have been uh, revised for each of them. Do so I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. second. I get a second that. I get a second. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Sorry, I took away your first. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank uh, these guys for their willingness to, uh, to, to listen and be flexible. Uh, thanks to Leon as representative of the neighborhood. And George, I want to thank you for um, just being open-minded about this. Mm -hmm. And I'm thrilled that we're going to get to 5-0 on this thing. And, um, and thanks to the council for putting up with me throughout the process. <laughs> Any further discussion? <clears throat> Roll call. Wyatt. Aye. Reister. Aye. Engel. Aye. Stabell? Aye. Buns? Aye. Approved. 5 0, you got. Thank you. Anybody wishes to leave, feel free to. <laughs> or, hang uh, or hang out if you wish. Is he on Friday, Tony? Yes, Tony. Thanks, guys. All right. I appreciate it. It's all your idea. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to leave. Okay? You can stay. I just wanted to thank you guys for everything that you've done. It was a little frustrating from my standpoint, um, but I do believe that this was what I envisioned, and I'm so glad that it is, you know, it's fruitful, it's coming to, and it, the city of Hudson is going to be, benefit enormously, as well as the Northern Tier. And I thank you very much for your cooperation, your insight, and uh, for maybe smoothing down some of that. <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne. Thanks, Dwayne. Uh, item B, discussion action to approve the second reading of Ordinance 785, an ordinance amending the Hudson City Code uh, 2017, Chapter 92, Water Rates, Section 9202, Rates for Service. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Pass the bell. Aye. Inkle? Aye. Uh, Wyatt? Aye. Reister? Aye. Funds? Aye. Item C, discussion action to approve the second reading of Ordinance 786 and the Ordinance amending the Hudson City Code 2017, Chapter 99, Sewer Rate Charges, Section 99.01, Sewer Service Charges Required. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Hold on, sorry. Uh, Ingle? Aye. Stabell? Aye. Buns? Aye. Reister? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Uh, 5 -oh. Item D, discussion action to approve the first reading of Ordinance 788, an ordinance amending the Code of Ordinances of the City of Hudson, Iowa, by amending provisions pertaining to altering vehicles. In this case, because it was a pre-existing ordinance that we're re-implementing, I am willing to accept a motion to waive the first and second readings. I'd make that motion to waive the first and second. 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 Great. Third. Uh, discussion on that motion? Uh, roll call. Wyatt? Aye. Engel? Yeah, aye. Devout. Aye. Funds? Aye. Reister? Aye. Uh, now, discussion action to approve the third reading of Ordinance 788, an ordinance amending the Code of Ordinances of the City of Hudson, Iowa, by amending provisions pertaining to all terrain vehicles. So moved. Second. Discussion? The reason I want to do this so quickly is it's snow could fly. Yes. <laughs> Technically, yes. Wednesday, there's a chance. Oh, or right. Thursday. Get this one done. It's not going to stick. I'm just saying it's the ability to calm down. Okay, roll call. Wyatt? Aye. Engel? Aye. Reister? Aye. Buns? Aye. Stabell? Aye. Item E, discussion action to approve resolution 2326, a resolution for approval of sanitation proposal for the City of Hudson. And this is with Blackhawk Waste, uh, the effective 7 1 of 18, uh, be a three year contract with the option to extend for up to two more years. And it's about a 50 cent per residence per month increase over the prior contract. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. 
Discussion? When you say with the option to go another two years at the same price, uh, was it the same price? Terms, was, I think it was negotiate price. Yeah, it was negotiate terms. Yeah. And I'll be um, honest with you, the reason you got a 50 cent increase is because the landfill went up. Yeah. And I was here a couple different times trying to ask for an increase. So obviously, I put the increase yeah. in yeah. on this proposal because it went from That's 38 to 42 mm -hmm. by the time we get the contract. That's over. the largest Blackhawk increase in about 20 years. Yes. Huge. It's huge. <clears throat> yes. It's about 20 some cents just per resident, just for the garbage. Yeah, Blackhawk landfill increase. Uh, any further discussion? No. Please. Roll call. Mr. Bell. Aye. Ingle. Aye. Reister. Aye. Buns. Aye. Wyatt. Aye. Well, thanks, Blaine. And I'll send Thank an you. email about the uh, yes. Hudson Municipal. And if you got a problem, just email me. We'll do it. Okay, thanks. thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I will say one comment, though. It, they've been doing a lot better job of making sure the cans make it back to yards and they're not, not selling in the streets. Street. And so it, it, send send accommodations to them that they're it, doing a much better job of right. um, keeping Another it clean. thing is, is in the proposal, <laughs> We want to promote recycling. Mm -hmm. So if you look in the proposal, it's two 33-gallon cans, three bags, or a 65-gallon container. Mm -hmm. okay. And we've been trying for years to maybe automate it and, and put 65-gallon carts at every resident. Mm -hmm. So I left that option yes. by putting it in the bid. It's something that the council could look at going forward. Okay. Because the bag's sitting on the ground, obviously, in the wintertime, if it's white bags, we do miss them. Yeah. Blends in with the snow. Yeah. Um, rodents get in them, cause a mess. Yeah. Um, I do suggest that certain containers we mark recycling because if they don't use the blue containers and they use another container, we don't know if it's yard waste, we don't know if it's recycling. So we probably will be putting little stickers on the container, which I don't think the resident's gonna mind, yeah. but it just helps us going by if it's recycling or yard waste because we could probably send a message out of the utility bills too saying to make sure that they have them marked correctly if they're using their own container for recycling please make sure it says recycling because on, on friday we pick yep. up trash yep. we pick up yard waste and we pick up recycling yeah. that makes and sense. friday's probably our worst that we have yeah. because people they don't get their garbage out so then the recycling truck goes by picks up recycling but don't pick up the trash so then we get a call but for the residents of hudson I think that we're doing a really good job based on um, the complaints we have per month. I mean, one or two, maybe three out of 950 well, residents is, is pretty unreal. It's looked a lot better since the last time you were so, here. Yeah. I, and, I and the, am much more impressed. It was since you guys are a couple of new city council members, the last proposal that we gave three years ago, the recycling site was an issue. But I stopped down there tonight, it's better. and it's it's, a lot it better. looks a lot better. There is a, a few items behind the containers that the guys probably drive by don't sure. see it, but uh, I will pick it up on my way out of town tonight. But I think you that we. I'm at my house too. I got some things. <laughs> if you want. What I, I'm saying is, is, we need to know if there's yep. issues, yep. and then we can take care of the issues because it's a working relationship. Yes. I think the communication has definitely improved, so we appreciate yeah. it on both ends. Yep. Thanks, Wayne. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Wayne. Uh, item, where am I at? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted them no, to know, no. like, yep. it Very has good. looked so much better yep. since the last conversation. Item F, discussion action to approve resolution 2327, resolution approving the adoption of the annual financial report for the fiscal year ended June 30th, 2017. So moved. Second. Discussion? For roll call. Nothing. Um, Aye. Buns? Aye. Uh, Stabell? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Reister? Aye. 5-0. Uh, item G, discussion action to approve resolution 2328, a resolution approving the State of Iowa annual urban renewal report for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2017, and the Blackhawk County Tax Increment Financing Report for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2017. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Tingle? Aye. Buns? Aye. Reister? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Stabell? Aye. Five zero. 0 uh, Discussion action to approve resolution 2329, a resolution for approval to award the bid and project to install a sanitary sewer line in three manholes near the intersection of Ranchero Road and Butterfield Road for the city of Hudson, Iowa. What you've got in front of you, uh, this is for 
going past the uh, prior wolf lot, the new wolf lot, the new Smith lot, and extendability into the existing uh, Smith residence. Uh, engineers have, have put together a uh, full package. They had estimated it would probably be in 47,000. It could exceed the 50, so we went out to get uh, three bids. Uh, we went to Summers, who did not return a, uh, a package. We went to uh, uh, a whole excavating. They did not return a package. We got one package back from Hudson Hardware Plumbing and Heating, the amount of 41,146.65. And I would request a motion to approve that. Second. Discussion. I'm going to abstain my vote. Yes. Because your employee had put your vote. Who, who motioned that? Sorry. Scott. Scott. Any further discussion? Roll call. All right. Sabel. Aye. Funds. Aye. Reister. Aye. Ingle is abstaining. Wyatt. Aye. Uh, four zero. Uh, informational items, there's five of them listed in there. Reminder items, we got regular scheduled meetings at the Council Chambers, except the Electric Board, Library Board. Public Works, December 13th, 7 a.m. Personnel Admin Finance, December 18th, 4.45 p.m. Mayor's Task Force, December 19th, 4.45 p.m. Public Safety, December 28th, 4 p.m. Next Council Meetings, uh, only one in December, that will be December 18th. Um, and then the next meeting will be January 8th. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Done. Thank you. All. Yeah, look at us. Bam. Nice work, George. Good job. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Jim. Come on and join us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.